It's a psychedelic smoking trend, mind-altering hallucinations turning your perception into false reality. The main reason I smoke is to get high, and for me, there's no comparison. Dabs just get me a lot higher. Marijuana wax, honey oil, butter, and the most common phrase, dabs. It's an extract of cannabis and one that is highly concentrated. This potent high is exploding across our nation as a reformed way to smoke marijuana. People in the Pine Belt shy about sharing their experience when dabbing. But we do know most users in our state are getting high on the product sent directly from Colorado and California where marijuana is legal. That's where we found this man explaining the effects. The amount of time that I stay high from one dab compared to the amount of time I stay high from one bong hit is not even comparable, not even close. A dab will keep me nice and high for a good 45 minutes to an hour. A bong hit keeps me relatively stoned for 15-20 minutes, if that. While users may think smoking dabs is validated and the new go-to high, WDAM takes a look behind the scenes into what this drug really is. Pure THC. So it causes, you know, the psychosis trips, the hallucination, those type of things uh, because of the purity of it. The tool to start the process. A butane torch with flame temperatures heating up to more than 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit. The method Jones County Sheriff's Department Major Jamie Tedford describes is meticulous, and the instrument used is better known as an oil rig. Major Tedford has spent more than 20 years in law enforcement, more than 10 of those years fighting the war on drugs in elite and specially trained narcotic units. He says dabbing is an extremely dangerous way of inhaling marijuana and says the reason it's prevailing is because dabs contain a much higher concentration of THC than the green plant. We're talking as much as 70 to 98 percent. Not only is it dangerous, it has some harsh consequences. You're having to break down the product itself to be able to ingest it. So because there's so many different components, it's a manufacture process, you could actually be charged with manufacturing depending on what type of paraphernalia that you have and what step that you're caught in. However, this amount, this amount right here, is well, well over the limit to be charged with a felony. According to Mississippi law, it's a DEA Scheduled One controlled substance in the same class as heroin. Major Tedford says it's critical parents are aware and can recognize the telltale signs of possible use. One indicator, this colorful tie-dye container. Here's what you need to watch for in a possible user. Mood swings, abnormal anger outburst, and a sudden raspy voice change. While users claim it's a new electrifying high, the bottom line, it's illegal, addicting, and can be deadly. Herb tastes good, but wax tastes better. No denying it. There's no musky, um, nasty, dead smoke flavor uh, when you take a good dab. It's just all sweet, right on point. In Jones County, Jessica Bowman, WDAM 7 News.